Hi, I'm Davi Dubois, and I'm going to read Acts 24. Five days later, Ananias, the high priest, went down to Caesarea. Some elders and a lawyer named Tertullus went with him. They brought their charges against Paul to the governor, so per Paul was called in. Tertullus began to bring char the charges against Paul. He said to Felix, We have enjoyed a long time of peace while you have been ruling. You are a wise we leader. You have made this a better nation. Most excellent Felix, we gladly admit, admit this everywhere and, every and in every way. And we are very thankful. I don't want to bother you, but would you be kind enough to listen to us for a short time? We have found that Paul is a troublemaker. He stirs up trouble among the Jews all over the world. He is a leader of those who follow Jesus of Nazareth. He even tried to pollute our temple, so we arrested him. Question him yourself, then you will learn the truth about all these charges we are bringing against him. The Jews said the same thing. They agreed the charges were true. The governor motioned for Paul to speak. Paul said, I know you have been a judge over this nation for quite a few years, so I am glad to stand up for myself. About 12 days ago, I went up to Jerusalem to worship. You can easily check on this. Those bringing charges against me did not find me arguing with anyone at the temple. I wasn't stirring up a crowd in the synagogues or anywhere else in the city. They can't prove to you any of the charges they are making against against me. It is true that I worship God of our people. I am a follower of the way of Jesus. Those bringing charges against me call it a cult. I believe everything that agrees with the law. I believe everything written in the prophets. I have the same hope in God that these men have. I believe that both the godly and the ungodly will rise from the dead. So I always try not to do anything wrong in the eyes of God and man. I was away for several years, then I came to Jerusalem to bring my people gifts for those who are poor. I also came to offer sacrifices. They found me doing this in the temple courtyard. I had already been made pure and clean in the unusual way, in the usual way. There was no crowd with me. I didn't stir up any trouble. But there are some other Jews who should be here in front of you. They are from Asia Minor. They should be charged if they have anything against me let the jews who are here tell you what crime i am guilty of after all i was put on trial by the sanhedrin perhaps they blame me for what i said when i was on trial i shouted i believe that people will rise from the dead that is why i'm in a, i am on trial here today felix knew all about the way of jesus so he put off the trial for the time being Lysias, the commanding officer, will come, he said. Then I will decide your case. He ordered the commander to keep Paul under guard. He told him to give Paul some freedom. He told him to allow Paul's friends to take care of his needs. Several days later, Felix came with his wife, Drew Lysias. She was a Jew. Felix sent for Paul and listened to him speak about faith in Christ Jesus. Paul talked about how to live right. He talked about how people how people should control themselves. He also talk, talked about the time when God will judge everyone, and Felix became afraid. That's enough for now, he said. You may leave. When I find the time, I will send you. He was hoping that Paul will, uh, would offer him some money to let him go. So often he sent for Paul and talked to, with him. Two years passed. Porcius Festus took the place of Felix, but Felix wanted to do the Jews a favor, so he left Paul in prison. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a good night and a good quarantine. Bye.